What is up? This is Ryan here today, and we are going to go over ChatGPT 4.0 with Canvas. That's the newest release that just happened literally less than 24 hours ago. So for those of you who don't know me, I've helped hundreds and hundreds of executives, DB executives, actually understand how to use ChatGPT and then transform their organization by integrating it into their teams and their people. So what I'm going to show you today is this new feature that OpenAI has. There's two core elements that it's advertised or promoted as, one on marketing, one on coding. Today we're gonna to go into code, or I should say marketing, right? And this is video is unedited, right? So I'm doing this by design so you can see what it looks like in real time, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So this is Canvas. So I've dropped in there a, I'll show you what I dropped in here, the desires, frustration, dreams, and fears. And I asked to put it in a, effectively a table, right? So this is what comes up from that after I launch it. So you can see I asked for the 10 frustrations, desires, dreams, and fears. I talk about you know what I what I discuss the AI for the future of work automations and AI agents and it says who I'm I'm basically approaching this with all right so now what it's going to do is it went through through and basically created this canvas so this is much like Claude where they have artifacts and as you can see it put this all out in a table so let's now put this to the test because this is something that's a little bit different okay so we can add emojis we can add final polish we can adjust the reading level and we can adjust the length. We can even suggest edits. Okay, so let's start with suggest edits and see how it kind of approaches it. So let's see what it says here. So this table provides specific overview. Okay, so now, oh wow, this is pretty cool. So it's going through and highlighting different areas, struggles with complex AI tools, overwhelmed by the deluge of data with no clear actual insights. That's true. Frustrated by the high cost. So I think this is like highlighting. So it just basically highlighted those different areas. So let me ask it. Why did you highlight those areas? And let's see what it says. Because uh, once again, I've never tried this before. Okay. So basically it's saying I highlight them because they could benefit. Oh, okay. Clarifying what types of data, high cost. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So it's like self-clarifying itself. All right. This is the other thing that I haven't, what does it say? Consider applying what aspects of AI tools. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's apply it. So now basically it, it highlights where you should edit it. Now I'm saying, okay, let's apply it. Struggle with complex AI tools, such as confusing user interfaces, lack of integration. Okay, so that's pretty sweet. So it basically clarifies. Let's try it one more time and see what happens. Okay, apply, apply. Let's try the other one, apply. Let's see if we can break it. I'm just kidding. I like you, OpenAI. All right, overwhelmed by deluge data, frustrated by high cost and complex setups. Let's see what this one says. Let's see what we do here. High cost, unable to generate high quality leads. Okay, pretty cool. So I like that was one of the areas that it, that I never noticed before. Um, can you rerun and update this table? I don't know if this is going to do anything or if that's just notes, right? I think that's just notes at the bottom. Okay, so now that, now you see it. I told you I didn't go through this in real time. So basically, it looks like if you want if you want shit to happen, you put it on the left. If you want your own notes, that's right here on on the right. Okay, underneath it. Okay, let's click to the next page. So we basically had suggest edits. Now the next one is adjust the length. Okay, so it looks like we got a sliding bar here where we could go longer or shorter, longest. Okay, let's do it the opposite way because everybody has uh, the attention span of goldfish like Ted Lasso said. So let's go short first and see what it says. So basically it's supposed to shorten this to the shortest way possible. Smoothly integrating AI process, complex AI. Okay, this is too short in my opinion, right? Not super impressed with that. Let's make it super long. Let's see what it says with that. Okay. Oh yeah, way longer. Too long, right? But as you can see, it goes through and, and stretches everything out. Okay, so this is pretty cool. This is one of the features and it basically describes why. Now, let's see if it suggests edits. If I go back to suggest edits, what it says. Okay, let's go back to this one and see. Consider breaking down into two sentences, improve readability. Okay, I love this. So it's almost like a grammar coach as well, which I wouldn't have really thought that it would kind of have that. Hold on. I tried to apply it and it didn't work. Okay, so it's we're going through this. Some file tools. This allows, okay, yeah, so it broke it into two sentences. Okay, pretty cool. Something else that I noticed you could do is you can click this if I want to go back. So I could go back different 
to the different areas. Say we didn't want the super short, we wanted the one right before the super short, and we could restore that version. So I thought that was pretty cool of something else that you could do. Now, the other thing in terms of this space that we could do is, okay, so we did the length, we did the edit suggestions. Now let's look at reading level. All right, so what's the current, okay, high school, Cal, okay, it does it by like education. So let's go to middle school because they're saying that's ideally the reading range. Uh, if you look at Hemingway, like how to have it at a third grade level, easy to use tools that make work faster, to have AI that works smoothly across the whole company, AI that helps everyone, even those without tech skills. Okay, so let's, let's see if we could, uh, let's amp this up. Let's see what happens if we go college level. See how much it changes and if it really brings it to college level. Achieving seamless AI integration across all departments, ensuring efficiency and ease of use. Sounds very like corporate speakish. I'm surprised they don't have like synergies in there or something like that. All right, let's go all the way to, to PH or graduate school level. Let's see what it does. I keep looking at the dream just because it's at the top. Obviously, you can look at the rest of it too. Fully integrated that enhances workflow cohesion, maximizing productivity at all operational levels. Okay, I like that. Let's go back a couple levels though, because I think if I talked like that, I would get virtual tomatoes thrown at me online, specifically, even if it's on LinkedIn, right? But especially on some of the other channels, okay? So now we're back to it. So let's go restore this latest version, okay? So I went back. Now last but not least, let's go to, um, let's do final polish, yeah. Let's, let's add some emojis and see what happens. Okay, so <laughs> what the hell? Oh my God. It turned the entire thing into an emoji chart. <laughs> this is crazy. I've replaced as many words as possible. Okay, try again. This is terrible. I just had, oh, sorry, just had a seizure. I'm all hopped up on cold medicine too. So if I'm in a little bit of a goofy mood, you know why, right? Okay. <laughs> so, okay, so got rid of all of them. Um, okay, so I just replaced it all with language. Okay, that's fine. Well, why don't we try the emoji thing again and see what happens? If it, if it does the whole thing or just adds a little bit here and there. Okay, so it just adds a little bit of emojis, which is interesting because a lot of people don't like emojis when they're writing content online. This is more text language, so uh, I think that's kind of cool. Let me try one more thing before we do the final polish. And, you know, just in terms of looking at this, um, okay. Now, create 10 LinkedIn posts from this chart with your best 10 ideas. Maybe 10 is too much. Maybe I'm just going to do five for purposes of this video because otherwise it'll be creating it. So let's see what happens. Let's see if it actually creates 10. Oh, interesting. Okay. So it's creating all the posts over here. It's not doing it. So the way that this work works differently, I'm moving my head over here. The way this works differently than like if you're looking at Claude or some of the other models is basically it, once it has the core element here, this is the foundation. And then you keep building over here. Sometimes I'll see on the other models like Claude, it'll keep going back and forth. So overall, I like what OpenAI has done with this. This looks pretty darn cool. Um, unfortunately we have emojis all in our, our LinkedIn post, which is a no, no. So let me go back and let's, let's try this one more time and rerun this and see what happens so that we have actually LinkedIn posts from this. And I imagine we could create all 25 or 20 within here. Okay. So it's got some okay ideas in terms of the writing. I would say the future belongs to it. This, this sounds more like, I mean, this looks completely AI generated, right? So um, obviously some work that needs to be done here, but I can see the utility. I'll play with this more, much like I did with the, um, basically the advanced reasoning model. Maybe we'll combine them. Maybe we'll stack this voice and the other in the next video. But anyways, I wanted to share this with you as soon as it broke out. So you can see it here first. Uh, I hope you enjoy this and have a great day, great week and great weekend.